bring in Jerry Harrison Jr., who's kind enough to join us today. Jerry Harrison Jr., of course, works on the Dodgers television network, breaking down the game of baseball. Also, love his basketball takes. He gets a game of basketball. He knows who the frauds are. Um, but he's also probably on the golf course right now. He's a World Series champ, and he loves his Dodgers. Jerry Harrison Jr., back on the morning roll on 95.7 game with Joe Shasky, the butcher, and Bonte Hill. Jerry, good morning. Let me just start this off, this conversation off by saying, Damn, I'm so jealous of what's going on in L.A. The vibe at the stadium, it looks like a party. Uh, rock stars are coming in, sitting in the front row like they always have. You got Mookie Betts. You got Trey Turner. You got Freddie Freeman. Who the other reasons having a down year? Walker Bueller's on the I.L. And you guys are still rolling. I am so envious of you guys, Jerry. Well, there's a reason why uh, you know the Dodgers are playing good baseball. they got incredible leadership. They're deep. So you, when you mention a couple guys being out with injury, uh, maybe a couple guys not having their type of season, but when you're deep, it allows for that. You know, So the Dodgers continue to play good baseball. The, the Giants came back in a big way last night, showed some fight, and the Dodgers came right back. Mookie Betts, three-run bomb. He has been a stud both offensively and defensively. And when you have three legit MVP candidates in Mookie Betts, Trey Turner, and Freddie Freeman, you should be in pretty good shape in your division. Yeah, there's no doubt about that. And Mookie Betts, I mean, me and B were talking about him. Watching him in that divisional series last year, he's just an outstanding player, five-tool player. I'm blown away that Boston didn't have the money to pay him, didn't prioritize paying this guy. In terms of guys that you've seen on the field, I mean, how, how many guys can do all the things that he does well at his level? Not, not very many. You know, he's a special player. You know, you guys mentioned me on Twitter. I do have Twitter takes both basketball, baseball. I've been watching the game of baseball since probably 1982. I was uh-huh. about four or five years old. Mm-hmm. So I've seen a lot of players. You know, war is a, is a big stat that's thrown around. And then you have, you know, so-called stats or analytics where um, you measure guys' defense, you measure guys' offense. Mookie Best is the best defensive right fielder I've probably ever seen. His range... His first step quickness, obviously his arm strength is accurate. Uh, he has incredible instincts in the outfield, great route runner. That play last night, I go, well, that's a double. Jock Peterson just wrote <laughs> it. He made it look routine. Right field. <laughs> he made it re- re- look routine. He had a long way to go, uh, and he was in shock. Uh, Jock Peterson, rightfully so. Mm-hmm. So was, if you look at the reaction <laughs> of our closer, yeah, uh, Kimbrel, he was stunned. <laughs> Not only got to that yep. ball, Yep. But he caught it yeah. to end the game. So, again, he is the best. I, listen, I've been watching baseball since I can remember. You guys watch Steph Curry all, all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it doesn't take a genius to see. He's the best shooter we've ever seen, right? Yep. It doesn't take a genius. Yep. Same thing. I've watched Mookie Betts every single night the last couple of years. I've seen a lot of players. I've played against a lot of talented outfielders, right fielders. But specifically in right field, He's the best defensive right field I've ever seen. See, it's fascinating that you bring this up because you didn't even bring up his base running, and I think his base running is so throwback and old school. It's why I love him. My dad had me grown up on Willie Mays and how he would go first to third, how he could score from second effortlessly, how his speed at first base would impact a pitcher and, and he either he steal a base or, or force a, a worse pitch to a better hitter behind him. Him, Buki Betts, and his speed on the base pass, his instincts, and then Trey Turner and how he runs the base even Bellinger's, for as much as he's struggling, the way he runs the bases, the one area that I don't think they get enough credit for is their instinctual base running. It applies so much pressure. What? Why don't we talk enough about their base running as a team? Uh, that's a great point. We talk about it here in L.A. Uh, because we, we do see it, and we see him every night. Freddie Freeman, incredible base runner. I couldn't believe, I mean, he's first of all, he's pretty fast for his size. Mm-hmm. But instinctually, going first to third, scoring from first on an extra base hit, incredible runner cutting the, the corners. But you mentioned Cody Bellinger can fly, knows how to run the bases. Trey Turner, everybody knows. He can fly, great instincts of base runner. But Mookie Betts is probably one of the best base runners I've ever seen. I asked my dad uh, during the 2020 season, I said, Dad, his favorite player growing up was Willie Mays. Okay. Was, he was his hero. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And everybody says I've talked to, you know, Barry Bonds, Karen Griffey Jr., Willie Mays, probably the greatest baseball players ever, as far as all around. Mike Trout is in that conversation as well, too. Mm-hmm. But I asked my dad, go, who does Mookie Betts remind me of? And usually my dad doesn't, you know, answer quickly. So he took a couple days, watched Mookie play four or five nights. He said, easy, Willie Mays. Wow. Willie Mays. I know he doesn't play the same position, huh. but the way he plays, the way he runs the bases, his He's not only aggressive, but he's smart, intelligent, 
And the, his all around game, he says he's Willie Mays, same type of player. Wow. And that's who, you know, for my dad to say that, and that's his hero, Willie Mays. You know, I mean, that's that's saying something about Mookie Betts. Wow, that is saying a lot there. Jerry He's Harrison Jr. Uh, Jerry Harrison Jr. on the morning roster on 95.7 The Game, Dodgers Television Network, of course, former Dodger in Yankee, a World Series champ, big-time golfer, of course, and he loves his NBA. Jerry, you brought up Trey Turner because this is a guy I've loved since he's come up through the minor leagues. We all play fantasy baseball here, and we got the MLB app, and we watch these guys wherever they are at. And when you guys stole Trey Turner last year in that deal with Max <laughs> Scherzer, I said, damn, now they got Trey Turner. What's the word down there? Is is he thinking about leaving? Because I, I batting behind Mookie Betts and in front of Freddie Freeman, that's got to be a hitter's dream. It, it is a hitter's dream, and he fits the Dodgers and what they're trying to do. Obviously, but make listen, Trey Turner fits any lineup. The right. way he plays the game, and you got to remember, last year he didn't want to get traded. Remember, when you're traded from the East Coast to the West Coast, he has got a young family. That is tough to do midseason. I've been traded midseason. I know how difficult it is to uproot your family. And for that, for him, it was a shock to him. So he was a little bit uncomfortable. But now that he's had a full season here, this is what I've heard. You know, now that he's got a full season here, he enjoys his teammates. He loves L.A. He loves being a Dodger. You know, for him to represent the Dodgers, to start at shortstop at the All-Star game was a thrill for him. And all indications is he loves it there. Now, I never want to talk about another player's money. Right. He's going to get all types of offers, and rightfully so. But if everything's equal, you know, I, I'm, I, I would assume that the Dodgers have to be at the top of the list. It's L.A., it's Hollywood. They pack, pack the place every single pack night. It. <laughs> it's a vibe there, yep. and you get a chance to win. So, uh, listen, Trey Turner, he's very comfortable there playing with Freddie Freeman and, you know, Mookie Betts. So, you know, you got to figure L.A. has got to be at the top of his list. But I'm sure the Yankees will make a run. You guys might possibly make a run. Uh, Don't do that to us, Jerry. Incredible player. Yeah, Don't why, do that why to us. Why are you doing that we, to me? We, we, we've been daydreaming about Aaron Judge, Juan Soto, Trey Turner. It feels like a pipe dream when you compare their lineups and you compare the situations. You talk about the vibe at the stadium. And I'm looking at Scott Boris sit front row. We know his client is Juan Soto. And heck, was it last year when Juan Soto was at the playoff game in that Trey Turner sure. jersey? Yes, sir. <laughs> well, it feels like you guys are in on Juan Soto, too. And it feels like that's a match made in heaven, Jerry. Well, I mean, Juan Soto, I mean, he's tw- he hasn't entered his prime. He's 23 years old and all- already top 10 player in all of baseball. Incredible talent. So, yes, are the Dodgers going to be in on him? You better believe it. Now, will they get him? Who knows? You know, I don't know what the asking price is going to be. I know Mike Rizzo. I was going to ask for a lot, and you know what? If I was him, I'd ask for a lot, too. Cardinals are going to be on him. You guys are definitely going to be in on him. Come on. You're the Giants. You guys have an incredible ballpark. If you guys win, you guys have proven that that place sells out every single night. You know, so, you know, Yankees are going to be in. So we're going to see. And I heard being around, you know, the All-Star week, you know, working for MLB that week, uh, everybody says he is definitely getting traded by the deadline. He's going to be moved. So wow. whoever gets Juan mm. Soto, uh, they're getting an incredible player. Well, let's. I, I want to like peel it back and talk about the farm and look, the farm system for any team. It, it can get boring for certain fans, but I do think it's been the lifeline for the Dodgers. But I look at like the guys that you have. You talk about the three MVP candidates. Trey Turner was traded for. Mookie Betts was traded for. And then, obviously, Freeman was a free agent. And so, as much as it is about homegrown talent, you guys have also spent and, and, and kind of also traded away a lot of talent to go get these guys. How does the Dodger farm system continue to replenish that talent? Because I look up and I go, Giants are like 11th, depending on the ranking, in terms of farm system. And the Dodgers still top five year after year after year. And they're spending. And they're trading guys away. How do they continue to develop and replenish this talent? Because that, to me, is the magic elixir on why you keep staying on top. You get what you pay for. The Dodgers continue to make sure they invest in their scouting and their development. They made sure that, hey, in order for the Dodgers to get Trey Turner or Mookie Betts, you better have talent in that farm system. That's why, for years, they've made sure they had that foundation there in place. Corey Seager, even though he signed with the Texas Rangers, he was a farmhand. Uh, Clayton Kershaw, farmhand. So many young guys. Jock Peterson was drafted by the Dodgers, Mm. even though he left, but you still were able to draft and sign young talent. You have to do that. That has to be the number one thing for an organization. And Farhan understands. I know it's been a couple years, mm-hmm. but he, he understands that that is the lifeblood of an organization. So he will rectify the shit. How long until you think it starts bearing fruit? 
Well, it used, I always said three to five years. I think well, you guys, this is the start of the third season with him, right? right? Fourth season, so it, fourth year. But, but the pandemic year, year yeah. yeah. And then the first year was Bochy's last year, so was Farhan Farhan's hand tied because you had Bumgarner there and they got into the race yeah. late before the deadline. I he kind of give up a pass for the first two years. And the COVID thing threw everything yep. out of whack. So I, I would say, you know, three, four to five years. That's where you start seeing, okay, this is what we have in our farm system. This is who we're developing. Uh, but, you know, you have to have a farm system if you want to succeed. So, Dodgers make sure they invest in scouting and then developing that talent. No doubt. Jerry Harrison Jr. on the morning roast on 95.7 so game. Good. You're always good to yeah. us. Game two of this four-game set uh, tonight. Of course, Logan Webb on the mound for the Giants here. Tyler Anderson having a big-time year for the Dodgers. Should be another good pitching matchup down at Dodger Stadium. Jerry, what you up to this weekend? Well, I'm out here in, actually in Atlanta, Georgia. Oh, no. you know, okay. I'm here playing a lot of golf. My son's in a, in a tournament out here. East Lake? He's, head- He's playing in East Cop. Oh, nice. 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 Very nice. Is, is he taking you to town or like what's going on? Because my dad don't want to, he don't want to relinquish the belt when we play each other. But now, yeah. you know, your boy got to give him a couple strokes and uh, I'm not liking it. So are you well, giving no, no, your well, son my strokes? My son is playing a baseball tournament. He's oh. playing a baseball tournament, but I'm playing golf here. So when he's not playing, oh. I'm sure I fit in golf here. Oh. And I, I, I've been having a good time, you know, taking these guys' money out here, here yeah. on, uh, in the South <laughs> and also thanking them for Freddie Freeman, too. They don't, yeah. they're not really fans of me when I say that. Jerry, well, uh, when, when well, he, also, also, Jerry, don't spend all your money for those wings down in Magic City. In man, be careful. You know, no, 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 no. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't do that. I don't do that, guys. Not anymore. Hey, September, <laughs> September, if you come up to the Bay, because I know the Giants play the Dodgers in September, let's go, let's go swing them. I'll take you out to the O Club. We'll have a good time. Yeah, I'm going to hold you to that. Yeah, uh, hell yeah. That. Hell yeah. I, I love golf here. I remember when my cousin Jason here in Atlanta, we just played the Standard Club, Ooh. incredible golf course. Andrew Jones was scared to play. I was supposed to play with him oh, wow. today, but he had to get on a flight to uh, Arizona because I guess his son was, his son was uh, yeah. second in the draft. Yeah. yeah. Yep. He had other stuff to do, but, uh, <laughs> but no, it's great out here in Atlanta. Nice. <laughs> Have fun out there, Jerry. Thanks, Jerry. Safe travels. We always love talking to you, man. Have fun out there. All right, guys. Take care. All He's right, so Jerry good. Harrison Jr. So good. And look, I want to I 